So I just ran out of my DIY toner and I figured why not show you what I put in my DIY toner. So here I have 100% pure essential oil eucalyptus, uh, which is good for uh, inflammation, reducing inflammation, and it's kind of an antibacterial as well. I have some argan oil, which I got for $5 at Marshall's. Um, I think this was like four bucks at Marshall's. Uh, as you can see, this is a red tag, so this was um, on clearance. Uh, this also was around four dollars. This is tea tree oil, also purchased at Marshall's. And this vitamin C elixir, also purchased at Marshall's. I forgot how much this one was. And back here, I have my Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Toner. It is 100% all natural uh, witch hazel. It is fragrance free and it is a gentle. So I got this on sale at CVS for $2. I think it was $2. It was way under $5. I can't exactly remember how much it was. Anyway, and then I have here my little my little spout here to help drain. So I'm gonna start with the witch hazel. And pour a bunch of it in there. I like to layer since oils are heavier than water um, it is gonna go to the top I just like watching it go up. otherwise you can just put the oils at the very end and I don't measure much of any of these to be honest with you because I mean really what's the point these drops come out very inconsistent and you really don't know how much drops unless you're using measuring spoons. It's a tea tree oil. Take some vitamin C for brightening. Eucalyptus. And a little bit of argan oil to soothe the skin. My main purpose of this potion is to clean and completely rid my face of bad bacteria uh, without stripping it of its natural moisture. And I add a little vitamin C to clear the uh, acne scars. Um, I have a separate routine that I follow for my skincare, but this is just a way to back up what I'm already doing as using this toner. I'm just like watching how the water pushes the oil down and the oil rises back up again. Now, although it looks like it's a lot of water versus the amount of oils that are in there, but as you use this, 
you're gonna see that you get more of the witch hazel on your on your sponge or your tissue or your facial cleansing pads or your cotton balls and in the end you'll be left with a thin layer of oils so it actually kind of evens out if I feel I need more of any type of oil just depending on my skin's pH balance or the mood of my skin that week, then I will add one or a few of the others uh, to the mixture. But this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.